Outriders, the game that everyone thought was going to be rubbish, has turned out to not be half bad. However, there are some really annoying things that the game doesn't tell you about at all that would have been really helpful, like automatically picking up loot. You can cross-play across different consoles with your friends, doesn't tell you how to do that, doesn't tell you what the level caps are, or how to farm legendary weapons, and most importantly, if you make a sexy as hell thirst trap Gandalf in the game, only for a helmet to hide all that sexiness, you can get rid of the helmet and keep all the benefits it gives you so your character can smolder enemies while you shoot them. Now, if you know some of these things already and you just want to jump to the bit you don't know, there should be some timings below so you can skip ahead if you want. So loot in Outriders is actually really easy to miss because it can just drop behind some of the barricades or the cover that you can use. And it's also quite hard to pick up during a frenetic firefight. So to save you running around each area after you've cleared it, Outriders has a way for you to automatically pick it all up. It just doesn't really tell you about it. All you have to do is press down on the D-pad or H on the keyboard and all that loot, keys and ammo will zip into your inventory. It also automatically picks up the loot when you die or move into another area. So this is all just automatic, it just never tells you it's doing it. So you might worry that you're missing out on loot. There is one setting you do need to look at though, and that's the rarity or type of loot it will pick up. Strangely, when you start the game, the level of loot it will auto pick up is epic, which is mental because you'll never see an epic loot drop at the start of the game anyway. So I don't know why it's set that high. We'd suggest putting the setting down to common at the start of the game, so you basically just pick up everything, and then when your inventory starts to get full or more and more greens start to drop, tick that up to unusual, and then you definitely won't miss out on any goodies. What's great about Outriders is that you can play with your friends on any platform, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, S, PC, and even Google Stadia. From the lobby menu, open the options and scroll down the gameplay section until you find enable crossplay. This is off by default, so make sure you turn it on. Now go back to the lobby and select play with friends on the right hand side of the screen. In the bottom left of the next menu, there will be two options. Generate your game code or join a game using code. If you're hosting a lobby, you simply need to generate your game code and then tell your friends what it is. If someone else is hosting, then they just need to tell you what their code is. It's as simple as that. So what about Outriders cross progression within games? So you can't jump between different consoles or PC and keep your progress, unfortunately. The silver lining is, as long as that you stay within the same family of consoles, upgrading from a PS4 to a PS5, for example, you'll keep the same progression and gear on that account. So you don't need to worry about picking up the latest generation of consoles and losing your progress. So my sexy Gandalf character doesn't go to waste. You can hide your character's equipped helmet. Thankfully, that doesn't remove any of the associated mods, armor, or anomaly power boosts that come with it. It's just the visual effects that are removed, leaving that beautiful Outrider face uncovered for all of Enoch to see. Now to do this, go to Settings, Options, Gameplay, Options, and Helmet. Here, you'll be able to toggle the visibility of your helmet between on and off with ease, at least once you know where the setting is, because it's kind of weird that that's where it's hidden within, and again, it's something else that the game doesn't really tell you you can do. Now, obviously, if you don't have a character as sexy as mine and you want to cover that face with a helmet or there is a helmet that you've just picked up that completes the look, then obviously you can go back into the settings to toggle the hide helmet option on again too. So on average, the Outriders main campaign takes around 25 to 30 hours to complete and that's assuming that you're just completing it with one character, ignoring all the side missions and just doing the main campaign religiously. So it's that perfect length of letting you get your teeth into the game to see if you like it and offering loads of replayability with different classes, new abilities, legendary weapons and replaying missions at higher world tiers to get better loot. And another thing the game doesn't tell you is that the level cap is 30. So if you're getting into the high 20s, you're nearing the end game for that character. As you'd expect, the best way to farm legendary weapons is down to a bit of grinding. However, you'll want to be at least World Tier 5 before you start trying to farm. At World Tier 5, the chance of a legendary drop is 25%. Any of the other tiers lower than that, and you'll be putting in a bunch of work for little chance of a reward. Obviously, the higher you get in tiers, the better. So now that you're at World Tier 5 and killing things with ease, the way to farm legendaries is just as easy as playing a side quest mission over and over and over again. You're going to be looking for the mission called Payback. You'll get the mission from Aubrey Storm, who you'll find by the main path, just near the crossroads warp flag. Talk to her and then make your way through the mission to kill Captain Reiner. 
Each run shouldn't take longer than five to seven minutes, and when you turn in the quest to Audrey, you have a good chance of getting a legendary weapon. You can do the quest as many times as you want to farm legendaries until you get one you're really happy with. And with a 25% chance at World Tier 5 of getting legendaries, those chances aren't too bad for a 5-7 to seven minute run. So hopefully this hidden little tips video has helped you get the most out of Outriders and get some great legendary weapons nice and early.